Hey, what's happening? I'm Claudio. Today, I'm gonna be redoing my office closet. So stick around. Let's make it now. Since we just moved in, the office was a huge mess. I needed a place to store all my stuff. I started by removing the rod hanger, then measuring the shelf. It measured about 49 by 11 and a half. I went out to the shop, but before I made any cuts, I wanted to make sure my blade was at a perfect 90. This little digital angle gauge makes it really easy to set. I grabbed all the boards I had selected for this project and then measured them out to their appropriate length. Then I set the blade height and grabbed the miter sled. Normally I would use my miter saw for this, but my shop isn't set up yet, so it wasn't available. Once I finished all the cuts, I took one inside to make sure that it fit, and it did. Then I came back and marked and cut all the cleats for the shelves to sit on. Once I had all the cleats cut to the correct size, I drilled and countersunk all the holes. Before taking everything inside, I gave all the boards a thorough sanding. It doesn't need to be perfect, but I wanted them to be smooth to the touch. I measured out the available space in the closet and then split the difference from my three shelves. I continued to attach all the cleats for the shelves to sit on. First shelf in, success. I finished attaching all the cleats and then putting the shelves on top. To secure the shelves to the cleats, I just drilled and countersunk some holes from the top then screwed in some drywall screws. After all the shelves were secure, it was time to cover my tracks. I grabbed some joint compound and filled all the holes. Once all the joint compound had dried, I grabbed some sandpaper and made sure everything was smooth. After a good wipe down with a wet rag, it's time for paint. I prepped the area with a little bit of tape and brown paper. I wasn't going to be splashing too much, so it wasn't that big a deal. I recently discovered some really convenient painting accessories. This little spout means you can pour in the paint from a 5 gallon bucket and you don't make any mess. This roller cover also keeps your roller wet between coats. I painted everything I could with the roller and then left the rest for the brush. After letting the paint dry overnight, it was time to put everything away in the closet. Well, I hope you're able to see how easy it is to upgrade your office closet. If you like this video, please subscribe below. You can follow me on social media at Make It Now channel, or you can check out my website at makeitnow.tv. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.